Hello guys. You are on the channel Alice Reddit Stories. Enjoy watching. I, F29, caught my fiancé, M33, cheating on me several times over the course of our 4.5-year relationship. I have been willing to work on our relationship and move forward in the past, but more recently I've been feeling less inclined to continue. For some background, my fiancé has alcohol and substance abuse issues, he also suffered a traumatic brain injury shortly before we started dating. In February of this year, he decided to go to rehab but only stayed for two weeks and left because of a disagreement he had with the staff. He stayed sober for three months until relapsing in June. Last year, he lost his job for drinking while working and has not worked since. He speaks to a therapist and takes medication for seizures, anxiety, and depression, but he has admitted to me that he does not tell his therapist about his issues with infidelity or the extent of his alcoholism. When I first found out about his infidelity it had been exclusively from him using messaging apps like Kick, hookup apps, and sexting on social media messengers like Facebook and Instagram. I was devastated, this started around March of 2020 which was also around the time I had started living with him. I remember the night it happened, I was sitting next to him in bed and glanced toward him and noticed a photo he had opened on his phone that was clearly a nude photo of someone. After that he came clean about the sexting, told me it was meaningless, and said he did it because it was exciting and fulfilled fantasies he had. At the time I was hurt and confused and felt like I wasn't doing enough to satisfy him, so I tried every single thing he wanted to do. I also felt like because it was never physical it was forgivable. For a while it seemed like things were getting better, until January of 2021. My grandmother passed away and I left town for her funeral. My fiancé was supposed to come with me but said he felt uncomfortable going. I ended up out of town for a week because of a bad snowstorm. When I finally made it home I walked into a dark room in the middle of the day with my fiancé passed out in bed. His phone screen was lighting up, I looked at it and it was dozens of messages from people on hookup apps. This time hurt differently because on top of my own personal grief I was also feeling betrayed by his infidelity again, and felt very alone. At this point it was starting to feel personal, and I was making plans to leave him. Again, he said it happened because it was exciting but meaningless and that I had been gone for a week and he was lonely. For whatever reason, I decided to stay and work on things again. Most recently, since his relapse, his behavior has escalated. One night, I woke up early in the morning and found him trying to get dressed to leave to meet another woman and take her out of the state on a trip he had previously planned with his friends. He was drunk and trying to start a car that had a keyless ignition with keys to a different car. The next day he apologized. A few weeks later he was sexting the same person under a fake name, which I saw when he received a sexually explicit text that went to his home screen that had details that could only be traced back to them. This person has a partner, and I thought seriously about sending them the messages between her and my fiancé but decided no to. I figured if she acts so reckless she'll expose herself eventually. After this I felt like I could move on again, since he cut off contact with that woman. But, unfortunately, he began rekindling a relationship with another woman. This new woman was someone he had been with casually years before we began dating. She is currently married and has a young child. He ended up taking my car to meet this woman around 4 am, and they had sex in my car. 
he denied doing it at first. I saw her messages to him about how her knees were bruised and how she wanted to see him again soon, and he came clean about his infidelity once again. Again, I wanted to tell this woman's husband about her infidelity with my fiancé, but my fiancé begged me not to tell anyone and I eventually let it go. Last night he told me he listened to a podcast where the guest shared their experience with one of the medications he currently takes. Apparently this person experienced mania and made out-of-character decisions while taking this particular medication. Now he is telling me that he believes his medication is to blame for his infidelity. I have invested a lot into this relationship. I dropped out of graduate school to work full-time since he has been unemployed. I make sure he eats every day. I made sure we bought a new mattress when our old one had holes in it. I make sure he gets his meds. I pretty much get him anything he needs. At the end of the day I feel like I'm just taking care of someone who is ungrateful and takes advantage of my kindness. I'm afraid of being alone, but I also don't want to be lonely. I thought I would spend the rest of my life with my fiancé, but I don't think he has ever cared for me the same way I care for him. Hey everyone! During the pandemic summer of 2020 I stared, 28M, to date a girl, 24F, and really liked her. We spent a lot of time hiking and hanging out, and I was applying to jobs having recently graduated. I am a mining engineer and took a fly-in fly-out role at a remote mine. I initially worked four weeks on, two weeks off for the first seven months before going on an even roster. Things were going decently with my girlfriend from what I knew, and I really cared about her. We spoke basically every day and when I came back we typically had a pretty good time together. Fast forward to today and we are no longer together. Things were tailing off over the last couple of months and she was obviously not interested in keeping our relationship going. We had a good time together on one of my breaks and then she met a guy basically as I was leaving and that was that. However what I am upset about is that I recently found out that basically during the whole of our relationship say early 2021 to March 2022 she was cheating on me and had a relationship with my younger brother. Me and my younger brother are pretty close and we would all hang out a lot together on my time off. I basically discovered that they were sneaking behind my back the whole time, waiting for me to leave before meeting up my brother staying at the place I rented with my girlfriend. They were basically living together at the beginning of 2021 and I guess this is when they started to see each other the whole time and I think after that they started to have arguments and so on. He basically became obsessed with her sending her tons of messages that she sometimes showed me saying your brother is crazy. I never put it all together until I recently found out that they had this relationship, don't think my old girlfriend and and my brother are talking anymore as she met a new guy and obviously moved on from both of us. I don't speak to her either. I did confront both of them and they tried to deny it but I know they are lying which makes me upset too as my brother won't admit it to my face and tell me sorry. Just wondering what everyone thinks about this situation. I am hoping to repair the relationship with my brother as he means a lot to me. I am still working my FIFO job, but thinking of moving cities, I live on the west coast of Canada, and pursuing my MBA next year as I am hoping to get out of FIFO as soon as possible too to pursue a normal relationship and life. I still just hate the fact I was lied to for so long and it seems the last two years of my life have basically been a lie. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There are many interesting stories ahead of you.